Hello and welcome back to another video by Jay Madden. Today we've got the week 9 update. A lot's been going on with the system. Uh, primarily a lot of new additions. Uh, good growth. Uh, the main reason for this video is that I want to try and uh, just document uh, the, the status of my corals and my anemones and fish. Um, I'm going to basically be going through here doing some close-ups of the different corals. Uh, I'll be talking about them a little bit and uh, discussing uh, some of the things about the corals. And as you can see there's quite a bit going on in here. Uh, moved some of the anemones around. Uh, got a new anemone addition in here. Uh, go ahead and we'll get started first with a close-up on the anemones. Yeah, here are the uh, sunburst anemones. Uh, these anemones are just just awesome. There's three of them here. Now you may have recalled that the clownfish were hosting and spawning um, on the anemone that was in the front of the tank. Uh, I just went ahead and moved it over here so I could have all my anemones together. Uh, so what you see is three anemones on top, the sunburst ones, and the, the rose bubble tip one down there behind the purple tang. And you can see the clownfish have laid another uh, clutch of eggs and the male is tending to it in the bottom right corner there. And it, the anemones look really good over here. They open up nicely, uh, much larger uh, than they have been in the past due to frequent feeding several times per week. Go ahead and show you a close-up of the texture on the tentacles of the anemones. Uh, they're extremely sticky and the sting is pretty powerful for these particular ones. As I found out when I was moving this anemone here from the front of the tank to its current location. And the clownfish are here tending their egg clutch. And you can see the color of the sunburst anemones. Here we have a Tyree toadstool. As you recall, I had a very large one in my previous system. And uh, this small one here is, is just great. Uh, typically with Tyree, you have the extra long polyp extension. Went ahead and decided to get some acans again. I uh, got got a pair of them here. Really fat, really healthy. Been in the system for a few days. Uh, doing very well acclimating to the LEDs. Here's another uh, toadstool leather. Uh, this one's just got these neon green polyps, a lot brighter green than the, the Tyree. Um, this has been in the system for one day now, and uh, as it acclimates, uh, we'll see how the uh, coral responds. The uh, Monty Pora here is doing great. It's got lots of new growth on it. Um, the lighting in this tank is pretty strong. So instead of this coral growing up and out, it's actually starting to grow down. And along the back side and the shaded regions are starting to fill in. Here we got a couple corals. We got the orange Yuma. And right above it we have the flower pots of Manipora. Uh, the polyp extension is great on it. Blue polyps, yellow background, and it's also growing well. This uh, SPS coral here, I'm not particularly sure of what it is, but it's uh, doing very well. Uh, colors are very intense and polyp extension is fantastic. The Bali Green Slimer, and it looks a little brownish green here, but it's mostly just LEDs. It's actually a very vivid green. Uh, lots of new growth on it, as you can see the new white tips that are growing out uh, should make for an interesting 
uh, formation as it gets more mature. Uh, this SPS here is doing very well. I've been feeding all the SPS um, and I realized that the polyp extension on this coral isn't what it was when it was first introduced uh, but it's very healthy and growing. I feel that the polyps aren't searching as much for food due to the heavy feeding it's been receiving. Purple Digi is doing very well. Uh, very purple now. Lots of new growth. As you can see, all the all the tips are white and starting to branch out. It's very exciting. Great polyp extension on this coral as well. Not very demanding. Uh, this uh, small SPS is doing great. It's hard to capture it with the LEDs, as it, you know the light's just dancing around. But it does have very blue tips and a light green base. This is a new addition here. This is a uh, E. crucifier anemone, or flower anemone, or rock anemone. Um, got this one. It's about the size of a quarter. Uh, it's been growing nicely due to frequent feeding, and it's about the size of a golf ball. Wow. Really crazy feeding response when you feed this coral. Uh, anemone, excuse me. Uh, this coral is fairly new as well. It's been in the system for a day. Uh, not quite sure what type it is. Uh, but it's starting to get polyp extension. Uh, in the store it didn't have any polyp extension, so it's definitely an improvement, and we'll be watching this. And I wanted to give a quick uh, top-down shot. Uh, you can kind of see the difference in the coloration between the sunburst anemones on the right, the orange and green, and the rose bubble tip uh, just below it there, as well as the bolly green slimer and the nice plating action of the Montipora. And this is just a little shot that I took. Uh, it's difficult to get good video because um, I have windows on both sides of this tank. But you can really get a feel here for uh, the color uh, that's most natural from looking at the system. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching, everyone. More to come.